Just needs one more red. 71. Needless to say, this is by far and away the best snooker of the match from Stuart Bingham. But he's missed the frame ball. Stuart Bingham, Why has he played it at that pace? Just stroke it in and make sure of the red. He's absolutely livid with himself. He, he looked at the scoreboard. He knew what he needed. But why play it at that pace and split the other two as well? Well, it's a tall order for Hamilton to pinch this frame. But Stuart Bingham's frustration must just be mounting. Well, that for him, Phil, as we know, was so unprofessional. Well, this would be an unbelievable steal, but it's a chance. A chance at least to get back into the frame, if not win it at this visit to the table. Well, there's still plenty of snooker to come before Stuart Bingham makes his world championship defence. Got the China Open, of course, the World Grand Prix, and the Players' Championship to come before China. But he will be a little bit concerned <coughs> at the state of his game right now. That was a kick. Nine. You saw the red leap off the bed of the table. Yes, yeah, with a good dinner, aren't we, at the end of the month? That uh, will conclude the field for the Players' Tournament. Yeah, the sixth and final European Tour event of the campaign. Hamilton's still on this black, but it's a bit trickier than it should have been. Just stun over for the left on red. Anywhere near that side cushion will do. You just fancy that there might be a twist here, though. And he's only, it might be coming here, because he's overdone that slightly. Okay. 16. The long stuff. <laughs> Don't blind us with science, Anthony. The extended rest, dear boy. Stuart Bingham looking rather miserable in his chair. I'd still say he's the favourite in this frame, but... Yeah, absolutely. He will be frustrated with some of the pots he's missed tonight at key moments. That's a good one, though, from Hamilton. Now, which way will he go here? Because he can go down for the red beyond the blue 70. spot or will he play on the one on the side cushion he'll take a risk if he tries to move that one but he might go early not bad it still needs potting though 24 47 the difference, 51 on. It doesn't have to go for this, of course. He could play the one behind the black spot. Try and leave the snooker. Very tough red, this. If he does take it on, he'd have to get it, surely. He's going for it. Yep. Yeah. He's going for frame and match. Can't blame him. Looks good. 25. That was a terrific pot. It really was. Didn't touch the sides. Nope. It was bang in the middle. What a chance this is. Oh, can he hold himself together here? Just for a few more minutes to put out the world champion. Green to brown. 30. If he drops him behind the green to the middle, it's not too bad. A rueful smile spreads across Stuart Bingham's face. There's no way on earth that Hamilton should have had a chance to steal this. No, he might miss this one, though. Can't 31. believe I've just said that. Again, as clean as you like with the pot. And Bingham will be a little bit more concerned now. 
Well, the thing is, there's not a safe ball on the table. Now, which way will he go here? I mean, he could just go straight up and down the table, leave himself a straight red, and get onto the pink. He might go around the angles. He could play what we call a half stun shot here, but I think he's going with top spin off a couple of cushions. Well, he's just gone for the one cushion then with a check side. It's not dead straight, but it's not bad. He's pretty good with the rest, Hamilton, normally. There's a lot of pressure That's on it. right now. The chance for a big, big win for him. Well, he'll have to get on the pink here, or the blue. The brown's no good, 33. The brown would have been only 32. So he's got to get on the pink here. And this is a tough pot with the extension on the queue as well. Makes it harder. But he's potted it. He's potted some balls in this break. What a clearance this would be to win the match. One of the best. Well, I think it's going to be about how he gets on the green. Well, he'll be, he'll be gutted if he loses here. He knows he hasn't played well here this evening. Yeah, it's all about green here. I mean, if he, if he gets on the, he'll get on the yellow, but it's just a question of which pocket he'll play onto the green. He'll, he'll, he's had a look for the left middle, but he could come in behind it, get into the right middle. Well, I think frame and match is now about this shot. It's the positional shot from yellow to green. And you can do nothing from the chair. Is the world champion here about to go out? at the first hurdle on this year's Welsh Open. He had a relatively straightforward frame ball to cut the deficit to one frame. He thought about it, and he missed it. Just depends what happens here. Does Off that the green go past the brown? I think it will, actually. That's pretty good. That will do nicely. If this is fairly straight, it's perfect. Hamilton holding himself together incredibly well in this break so far. Can he keep it going? That is perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Fabulous break this has been. He's four balls away from victory. I'll be honest, Mike, I didn't think there was any chance of him clearing up when Bingham missed that red. Well, I'm with you, Phil, nor me. This is one of the best clearances I've ever seen, actually, under these sort of circumstances. We knew that this might happen here this evening. We know what the sort of game that Anthony has. But I'll tell you what, OK, Stuart hasn't played that well here this evening, but every credit to Anthony, because he's taken it to the world champion. Well, there's been nothing wrong with his bottle in this break, that's for sure. Mm, none at all. Rock solid. We said he's got a kick. Oh, he's just landed a little bit higher on this black. But he might be on the way home. This black, then, for a tremendous victory for Anthony Hamilton. What a clearance that was. One of the best you'll see. And the world number 68 causes a big upset here in Cardiff. Stuart Bingham has had a night to forget. He has missed so many key balls. But wow, was he punished in style by Anthony Hamilton in that fifth frame. A tremendous clearance from Hamilton. Ice cool under pressure. And he has clinched a fine victory. The world champion is going home. Anthony Hamilton marches on. He's beaten Stuart Bingham by four frames to one in Cardiff.